Admiral Zanzer stepped onto the human flagship bridge and froze, his four jaws hanging open in dismay. Banks of alien equipment hummed with holographic displays dancing in the air. Strange bipedal creatures in colorful uniforms manned the stations, ignoring Zanzar. The pungent aroma of an unknown food wafted through the air. This was the advanced civilization he had been sent to annihilate. A tall human with dark skin approached. Admiral Zanzar, welcome aboard the UNS Discovery. I'm Captain Jackson. His perfect Zenthar astonished the Admiral. Zanzar quickly composed himself. Your translation device serves you well, Captain, but this encounter is an error. Allow my fleet to withdraw and we shall forget this dot, dot, dot incident. Jackson's smile faded. There will be no withdrawing, Admiral. The days of Zenthar conquests are over. Follow me to negotiate your empire's surrender or be destroyed. Zanzar bristled but followed the human into a minimalist conference room. As Jackson outlined shocking terms, Zanzar's mind raced. Clearly the humans possessed technology exceeding even the Zenthars. How had these aliens advanced so quickly? What other secrets did they harbor? Zanzar needed to learn more before committing to a hopeless war. Total surrender was never my goal, Zanzar lied smoothly. Let us take time to further understand each other's ways. Jackson's eyes narrowed with skepticism. We know much about your ways already, Admiral, but for now, we will allow a ceasefire and cultural exchange. They shook hands in the odd human custom. Zanzar suppressed a shudder at the contact. He would tolerate these aliens' company to buy his empire precious time. The Zenthar had been deceived somehow and he would uncover the truth. As Jackson led him on a tour, Zanzar memorized every detail. The reflective metal walls, the illegible displays, the degree symbol-free climate, all advanced Zenthar science. He yearned to rip open a bulkhead and expose the secrets within. Patience, he counseled himself. In his Spartan guest quarters that night, Zanzar composed a coded message to his emperor, Humans ahead of projections. Recommend covert technological research mission. As the screen flashed confirmation, Zansar permitted himself a razor-thin smile. The humans had won this battle with their trickery, but he would ensure the Zenthar won the war. Eva stepped over smoldering debris, the acrid smell of melted metal tickling her nose. She swept her plasma torch over the battered door, revealing the darkened engineering bay beyond. Her pulse quickened. What secrets did this alien ship hold? Motioning her team forward, Eva entered the cavernous chamber. Flickering lights illuminated endless snaking cables and conduits, leading to cylinders vanishing into shadows above. Radiation levels elevated but not critical, reported Martinez, scanning carefully could be a containment leak. Eva shone her beam over rows of massive metal capsules along the walls. Let's check them. Look for any cracks or damage. As Eva inspected one capsule, she caught a flicker of movement within. She adjusted her light to reveal a window looking into inky darkness. Leaning closer, two large oval eyes stared back. With a startled cry, Eva reeled back. The other team members rushed over, weapons ready. Eva's heart pounded as she recovered from the shock. Peering inside, a bioluminescent alien regarded them silently. There's more in the other capsules, whispered Martinez. No Zenthar life signs detected. We found their secret. Eva's thoughts raced. What tortures had these unknown beings suffered? As a xeno-anthropologist, this was her most incredible dream and worst nightmare. We get them out of here now, Eva said resolutely. She would not leave a fellow sentient caged and alone in the dark. After emergency extraction to Discovery's quarantine bay, Eva observed the aliens with mix of hope and sadness. Like mistreated animals, they cringed from their rescuers. But she would earn their trust, she vowed silently. Pressing a hand to the glass, 
she made eye contact with one resting inside. It slowly turned its elongated head to look back at her, patterns shifting across its skin. The moment felt heavy with potential. Don't worry, we're going to take care of you now, Eva said gently. She hoped it understood their intentions went beyond mere curiosity. With courage and compassion, Eva would uncover the truth behind these unknown souls. Her moral compass stayed steady, even light years from home. The Zenthar had much to answer for, but today a historic first step had been taken. Eva entered the quarantine bay holding the weakened aliens, hoping today would be the breakthrough. Two weeks of tireless efforts had yielded little communication or trust, but she knew forcing interaction too quickly could irreparably damage the fragile relationship. Approaching the elder alien's glass enclosure, she activated the translation device recovered from the Zenthar flagship. Good morning. How are you feeling today? She spoke slowly. Its tendrils rippled slightly as the device decoded her words. After a long pause, a stilted reply crackled through the speaker. Vibrations, understood, status, functional. Eva's heart leapt. Functional was likely the closest analog to well in its vocabulary so far. I'm so pleased we can talk now. My name is Eva. May I ask yours? Another ripple. Designation, unnecessary. Focus, the mission. Eva furrowed her brow. The concept of individual identity seemed foreign to it. Had the Zenthar crushed any sense of self? Let's just call you Elder for now, she said gently. I want you to understand you're safe here. Can you tell me about your species' history with the Zenthar? The alien's bioluminescent skin flickered in complex patterns. Sadness? Anger? Fear? Eva wished she could interpret the nuances. Origins, lost, Zenthar, enslaved Rixis millennia ago. We fuel their great vessels, Rixis. Eva seized on the name, the first real clue to their identity. How did they enslave your people? The Rixian shifted slowly. Conquest through force, planet harvested. Rixis made dot 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 compliant dot mind touch used to control. Eva's blood ran cold at the implications. These proud beings had their home taken and their minds shackled by psychic force. It was slavery on an interstellar scale. Over the next hours, she learned more about the Rixians' tragic past. Generations living only to maintain Zenthar technology, devoid of culture or identity. Their innate psychic strength turned against them by the ruthless Zenthar. Eva's outrage grew, but she tempered it. The Rixians needed compassion now. There would be a reckoning with the Zenthar soon enough. In the days that followed, Ava nurtured the Rixian refugees with literature, art and music from worlds they had never seen. Simple stories and symbols soothed their psychic wounds. Laughter came easier, bonds formed. And one day, Eva arrived to see the Elder standing tall and strong, no longer cowering. Its skin shimmered vibrantly as it spoke in fluent communication. We cannot repay your kindness, Eva. For the first time, we are healing, it said, placing its limb on the glass toward her. The Zenthar chained the Rixian mind, but no longer. Eva touched her hand to the elders, ignoring protocol. You owe us no debt. Your freedom is payment enough. The Rixians would never be slaves again. And as Ava helped them reclaim their culture, she knew the human spirit burned bright within them too. Free at last, together they would light the darkness. Zanzar entered the Emperor's throne room with dread churning in his stomachs. The ancient relics of Zenthar conquest seemed to judge his recent failures. Admiral Zanzar, boomed Emperor Zakthor. Explain how our glorious armada was humiliated by primitives. Zansar knelt in deference. The humans possessed technology exceeding ours, my lord. We underestimated their capabilities. And now they crawl over our flagship like insects, stealing Zenthar secrets, roared the emperor, rising from his throne. 
You should have died with honor in battle. Zanzar steeled himself against the verbal lashing. Their weapons overpowered us, sire. My sacrifice would have been in vain. The Emperor's eyes bored into him with cold fury. And what of the Rixians they released? The useless laborers you assured me of. Zansar hesitated, knowing his response could condemn him. We did not foresee their intelligence, my lord. The humans unlocked something in them. The Emperor turned away in disgusted rage. Zanzar saw his life balancing on a razor's edge. For now, your knowledge of the humans retains value, snarled Zakthor. But do not fail your empire again. Zansar retreated from the throne room shaken. In his quest for power, how much had he blinded himself? The Rixians, the humans, they possessed qualities the Zenthar had lost long ago. In the chaotic months that followed, Zanzar was torn between loyalty to his people's old ways and the desire for change inspired by the humans. When Zenthar mobs attacked newly freed Rixians, Zanzar realized a reckoning was coming. Standing at his chamber window, Zanzar meditated on the cold, glimmering capital below. The Zenthar Empire teetered on the brink, its foundations crumbling. Zanzar had sworn oaths to guide and protect his people. He could not stop the avalanche ahead, but perhaps he could redirect its course. Alarm screamed as the Zenthar fleet came under blistering attack. Admiral Zanzar gripped his console, barking out damage reports as chaos erupted. Sensor readings confirmed his worst fears. A rampaging splinter faction of traditionalist fanatics. Admiral, the crazed rebels are targeting Earth's surface, shouted Captain Jackson over the emergency comm channel. Millions will die if we don't stop them. Zanzar reeled as the implications sank in. Billions of innocent lives now hung by a thread. He had sworn oaths to protect his people, but these maniacs threatened everything in their hatred. This could not stand. Divert all ships to intercept, Captain, Zansar commanded. We will fight alongside you against these traitors. Jackson looked shocked. You would fire on your own people, Admiral. Zanzar's resolve hardened. They are Zenthar no more. Stand ready for my signal. For too long, Zanzar had failed to curb the extremists poisoning Zenthar society. No longer. There would be sacrifice this day, but also hope. Zanzar silently swore a sacred oath to all innocents counting on him. Point defenses raged as the rebel ships neared Earth. Zanzar watched his moment perfectly. On his command, the human flagship dropped out of Z-space behind the rebels, unleashing a punishing barrage. Zanzar's loyalists attacked from the front, blasting through the lead traditionalist ship's shields through ferocity. But as it exploded, the shockwave nearly shattered the human flagship as well. Captain Jackson, respond, shouted Zanzar desperately into the static but only silence answered as the ravaged ship spiraled down into Earth's atmosphere, trailing smoke and fire. A terrible price, but one which had spared billions. In the aftermath, Zanzar toiled beside humans and Rixians to rebuild. There were hardships and setbacks, but slowly the hatreds healed. A year later, Zanzar stood before a towering obelisk memorial engraved with thousands of honored names. A reminder of lives lost, but also hope reborn. Zanzar gazed up at the carved image of Captain Jackson and bowed his head respectfully. Though steeped in sorrow, this sacrifice had illuminated the path to a new era of unity. The sweet notes of remembrance echoed long across the solemn ground. 